Welcome to this channel, the go-to place for all things transportation. Today, we will focus on land reclamation. Land reclamation is the process of creating new land from the sea. The simplest method of land reclamation involves simply filling the area with large amounts of heavy rock and ore or cement, then filling with clay and soil until the desired height is reached. The first major land reclamations were carried out in the 1970s when the port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands was extended. This was the start of the modern era of land reclamation, which rapidly spread around the world. In 1975, the government of Singapore commenced the construction of a new airport on the eastern tip of Singapore. Changi Airport was built with over 40 million cubic meters of sand reclaimed from the seabed. Notable examples of coastal land reclamation include Hong Kong, Singapore, the Netherlands and much of the coastline of mainland China. Artificial islands are an example of land reclamation. The Flevopolder in the Netherlands, reclaimed from the Ijsselmeer, is the largest reclaimed artificial island in the world. Kansai International Airport in Osaka, Japan and Hong Kong International Airport are also examples. Land reclamation is an intensive practice involving well-outlined processes and high levels of expertise handling sophisticated resources. Typically, the land reclamation process can be broken down into three stages, pre-reclamation, reclamation and post-reclamation. Pre-reclamation consists of the following operations, gathering data such as topography, soil type, landscape sequence, and contour pattern for subsurface studies. Current and future environmental impact assessments are conducted to help build the reclamation plan and design that will be submitted for approval. During reclamation, reclamation operation can be any of the following. Landfilling this involves replacing the soil excavated from the site and restoring the fertility and competency of the area. Revegetation replanting the necessary seeds to restore or improve vegetation. Water quality testing ensuring the quality of the water is sufficient to the needs of those relying on it. Drainage ensuring proper grading and drainage is in place to help avoid future floods or irrigation challenges. During post-reclamation, the appropriate bodies and the heads of the company come on site to inspect if the reclamation is in compliance with governing policies and in sync with the approved reclamation plan. One potential impact of land reclamation is the disruption of ecosystems and loss of biodiversity. When new plants and animals are introduced to an area, it can alter the balance of the existing ecosystem. Land reclamation projects typically begin with land acquisition, which can displace people who live on the land or depend on it being reclaimed. This disruption can trigger long negotiations with landowners and may lead to social and economic conflict. Sustainable management of reclaimed land needs proper monitoring, government intervention, and modification of old land laws and regulations. Moreover, the reclamation process should be generalized for the non-educated and less educated farmers so that they may not abuse by the local leaders. What do you think about land reclamation? Drop your comment and discuss.